My name is Jeffrey Kennedy and welcome to Traders Classroom. One of the greatest values of the wave principle is that it provides context for price action. And we're going to discuss this idea a little bit more in depth in today's episode by looking at the price chart of uh, Ray Biopharma, ticker symbol ARRY. Let's begin. Now really whenever we're looking at this price chart or really what I'd like you to focus on primarily is this structure right here. Now, if you would like, you can take a look at that price move as well at the actual decline. But bottom line, my whole focus is going to be on this price move right here. So pause the video, take a look at that and kind of give me a just take a shot at labeling the uh, the operative Elliott wave pattern. What pattern would be in force? What patterns do these actually look like? OK, well, welcome back. Well, if we look at the structure, the, the move to the downside, what really catches my eye here is this formation, this basically falling wedge. OK, in this instance here, the significance of this ending diagonal and the <clears throat> in this position right here, well, it argues for a complete retracement of the move, which we have seen in this price chart. But also, too, it's a terminating wave. It tends to occur at the final or very late stages of either a counter trend move or an impulse wave. For example, an ending diagonal may only occur in the fifth wave position of an impulse wave or as wave C of an ABC formation, either a zigzag or a flat. Now, from an Elliott Wave perspective, the move to the upside, what really caught my eye here was the price gap, the price gap that we saw right here. Price, I've done a lot of work with price gaps, and price gaps typically occur most often in the Wave 3 position. So whenever you see a price gap, there's a good, that's a good place to, to actually start your wave count, but it's all, also a very simple way to identify third wave price moves. Is this always the case? Is this actually a rule? No, it's not. But it's a good guideline. It's a good thing to actually begin working with. So if we take a look at the next price chart, you'll see a very basic wave count here uh, in array, and that would be Waves 1, ABC. C2, nice three-wave move to the upside, the inclusion of the price gap. So you can really see basically Fibonacci and structural support coming into play in a rate for around 450. Now this is indeed the case, and all we really have to do is just keep a very close eye on that trend line right here. Once we break that trend line, that's going to confirm way four is done, and way five is underway probably to about 550. So it looks like we're beginning a new impulsive structure to the upside, a five-wave move. Okay, now how does this five-wave move, though, fit into the larger uh, Elliott Wave pattern? Or is there a larger Elliott Wave pattern in this market? What's the context of this move? Is this a C wave or is this wave one of something larger? Again, the Elliott Wave principle allows you to look at price charts of varying degrees. And because the Elliott Wave patterns are fractal in nature, it provides it allows us to actually identify a much broader, more comprehensive context of really what's going on in the market. So let's step back, take a look at the a larger pattern.